I remember it being a hot summer day. It was July, wasn't it? Yeah. A hot summer day, maybe similar to today. You know, it was clear, no rain or anything, you know. Yeah, so we loaded up, I remember taking off and I used like two thirds of the runway and then lifted off heading south and there were trees on the end of the runway so you had to clear the trees. Kind of used to, used to just, because the nose would be high, you really couldn't see anything forward. I kind of just glanced, you know, out the window to look at the trees and look at the ground, make, you know, get an idea how high you are and because you wanted to clear the trees. And that's when I saw um, Mary's, Mary Ellen's bo uh, body down in the grass. Well, you said when you saw it, you, you didn't, you thought it was... Well, I, I just a quick glimpse, maybe one or two seconds at the most, you know, because I was so involved with flying the plane. And um, I was pretty sure it was a person with no clothes on, but that wasn't too, unusual because the skydivers had this thing about mooning you when you, a lot of times you're taking off <laughs> they'd, they'd moon you or, or all down the beach at the bar they'd moon you. It was kind of a fad at the time. But anyways, I remember we cleared the trees and I got the plane, you know, all squared away and I said to the other people, I said, you see that? There was, you know, I think there was somebody there or something. I, I remember saying, and so we made a big circle around, we're still climbing, you know, climbing up to altitude and this time we made a turn came back around the field and everybody looked out the window and, and I looked out the window I said that's a person but I remember Jim McCann or somebody said oh that's a deer I said I don't think so that's a person and they were still in the same position which was a little unusual so we made another circle around I think oh I think we came down lower and I said that's a person and I think I think I vaguely remember everybody else saying, yeah, that's a person. So we came back around and landed. And as the plane rolled out, it kind of, you know, as you're slowing down on the runway, we just happened to end up down that end of the runway, so shut off the engine. So then we walked over to it, and then it was obvious it was a person and probably deceased. You know. Well, we we were all kind of like a little bit of a shock at the moment. And then kind of hustled back to the plane, turned around to run, because we were out in the middle of nowhere, you know. Taxi all the way back the other end of the runway where all the people were. And I don't think we had cell phones in those days. And, uh, you know, he said, there's, there's a woman down there dead, you know. Somebody call the police. Well, I mean, we taxi back and I'd say, hey, there's a woman down there. And everybody said, what, are you crazy? You know, what's, you sure? You're, pulling our leg, I said, no, and so, and there were two or three of us saying the same thing, I guess, and then somebody ran up to call the police because they eventually started showing up by the dozens, you know, and then uh, the police were down there, did cars and trucks, and then they were up our end interviewing many people. I remember I got interviewed, uh, I think everybody on the plane got interviewed, and just, that was pretty much the day from then on. We were there a few hours, and, excuse me. Um, and eventually I had to fly the plane out of there because we didn't keep the plane there at night. We took, kept it at Stanford Airport. So I think when I flew the plane out, the police were all still there. She was somewhat bloated, and there were flies around. It was a hot day and it smelled pretty bad too. And she had no clothes, but I think there was like panties around one foot or something. I think I remember that. But, and she was face down too. So I didn't really see her see her, you know. And like I said, there were tire tracks through the grass, which looked like a smaller type car or truck, which I did tell the police, of it, which I hope, hopefully they noticed too. Oh, I don't know, maybe even they got a tire print, I don't know. How hard do you think it would have been to just find it if, if you weren't in the air? I don't, think you, I don't think it would have because I remember when we came back around and landed, you couldn't see anything over there. 
because the grass was high. But I kind of knew it was right to the left somewhere, so we decided why. It wasn't really thick grass, it was kind of like burnt, summer burnt, you know? So it was all brown and stuff, that's what I remember. 